PS4 News has been exposing concerns about a silent killer impacting our firefighters, and now they are on the path to helping in the fight against cancer. Broward Sheriff's Office Fire Rescue Team Susan G. Coleman and other advocates joining forces against this terrible disease. CBS4 Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen has more on what this all means. Right now I got my faith in God. I know that I'm going to pull through this. It's a powerful message, but a bittersweet gathering. Unfortunately, because of what they do and, and what they're exposed to, the cancer rate among firefighters in our country is alarmingly high. Firefighters and their supporters standing up and speaking out in a fight against cancer, exposing potential links to their jobs. Looking at Miami Dade Fire and Rescue, for example, 17% of our cancer deaths are brain cancer. Courageous battles shared with me by those in the thick of the fight. 33 year old Fernando Ordonez. In December of last year, I was diagnosed with stomach cancer, uh, stage four, which had spread to the metastasized of my, uh, my uh, peritoneum. So I'm currently undergoing chemo treatment uh, for that now. We've been documenting Julius Perez's journey for more than a year. The public often calls us and asks about you for an update, and you know you're just a rock. So how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good since the last interview we've had. Uh, they found another tumor on the surface of my head which I had to receive 10 treatments of radiation and uh, the side effects are are going away if you guys see here at the top of my head. Science and research shared today our exclusive report last week highlighting their hoods and potential dangerous exposures made public today. Michelle Gillen talked about that earlier, about the fact of the, our hoods, how the contamination may be seeping through our hoods. More than $30,000 donated today by firefighters, directed to the Firefighter Cancer Support Network, the Susan G. Komen Miami Fort Lauderdale affiliate, and the University of Miami Sylvester Cancer Center. This is new, makes sense, but believe me, it's the result of a sea change in thought. Beyond that door is where the firefighters eat and sleep, and so the focus today is to keep potential carcinogens and contaminants away from the men and women who are willing to risk their lives every day for you. Michelle Gillen, CBS 4 News.